guys. It's me, Brittany, here. Um, yeah, I'm going to try and record. Well, I'm not going to try. Is my cup leaking? Oh, no. I hope not. And I think it is. It's my MSU tumbler. And I just really, really... That was awkward. Okay, um... I hope not. Um, yes, that was really weird. Anyway, I'm here to bring you another video. I have my lovely iced coffee in my Michigan State cup. Hope you guys, you know. Um, pretty much what I'm going to be talking about is the fight that I got into in middle school. It was the only physical fight I've ever really been in. But before I get into that, I want you guys to comment down below and let me know what days would you like me to record. I mean, I'm going to try to record any day that I can. So if I can record Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I'm going to. It's just a matter of my schedule and how it works out. So, yes, comment down below if there's days that you think I should really record on and I will most definitely try my best. Um, as for... Um, yes. Um, and let's just get right into the video. So this video doesn't have to be 20 minutes long because it's not that long of a story. It's just a story. Um, anyway, so I told you about when I did, was it the TMI or the 100 questions tag asking me if I've ever been in a fight? And I said yes, one. And that was the fight that I got into in middle school. Which resulted in me ultimately getting suspended for 10 days, and I wasn't even the one who started the fight. And the girl that started it actually got 5 days. <sighs> yes, it was tragic. Um, pretty much what happened was, me, there was 3 of us. It was me, Kayla, and Jesse. Um, obviously I'm mixed, Jesse was black, and Kayla was white. I'm just telling you this because it needs to be known. Um... And we were all really, really close. And then out of nowhere, they just stopped liking me. So I'm just like, okay, whatever. I don't need you. I was never hard up to have friends. just, And I wasn't going to beg you to be my friend. So I was like, whatever. I did my own thing and went on about the school year. They talked about me a lot in school. And that was a drink break. They talked about me in school. And I'm just like... I don't care. I mean, to begin with, Jesse was already bigger than me, so I wasn't, she could, she could call me fat all she wanted, but in the end, she was bigger than me, so. And Kayla, she, I mean, she was a small girl, but, I mean, nonetheless, I actually saw her about a year ago at Walmart. Yeah, anyway. Um... So, they were talking about me in school, and I just let it be. Finally, one day, I was going to get on the bus. And usually in middle school, for some reason, our bus was never there on time. So, we ended up having to wait about 10, 15 minutes every day after school for the bus to come to the school and pick us up. And usually, we were the last bus there. So, bus pulls up, um, and I'm going to get on the bus, and Jesse threw an apple at my head. And at this moment, I'm just like, Brittany, be calm. This is not that serious. And I'm just going to be like, whatever. And then she threw another apple at my head right before I got on the bus. I'm like, be calm. Be calm. And finally got on the bus. I sat down in the front and she was like, get up. This is my seat. I said, this isn't your seat because we don't have assigned seats on the bus. I said, that is so elementary school. I had assigned seats when I was younger. I said, you can sit behind me if you'd like. And she just was not happy. And I just, I was not getting up. This is not, this isn't Rosa Parks. So you're not going to make me move to the back of the bus because I'm colored. Well, anyway, no. But, um, then on the way home, I just heard her. She sat like not far behind me and she just kept saying stuff. I'm just like, whatever, you're immature. And I'm just not dealing with it. So we finally get home and we get off the bus and we're in our complex and I'm walking ahead of her with my other friend, Brittany. So it's Brittany and Brittany. Huh? Yeah. And we were walking to, um, we were walking to my house because actually Jesse lived next door to me and Kayla lived, like, my house was here 
Jesse's house was here and Kayla's house was like back here across like kind of like almost horizontal to where we lived and so we all lived in the same like little cul-de-sac so it was kind of inevitable we had to kind of walk near each other and Brittany lived in the back too so she lived like on a cul-de-sac across from where I live so she was walking home with me and so me and Brittany are in the front and then next thing I know she throws a banana at my head I'm like where is this girl getting all this fruit and she's not and she's wasting it at that and I like fruit so I was really upset and then again I'm I was trying to be nice and let it go then she started talking about my family, especially my little brother. And for those who don't know, my little brother is severely disabled and he was in a wheelchair. He is in a wheelchair. And that's when I started to get really, really mad because nobody's going to talk about my family, especially when you don't know them to the point where you just, oh, she made me mad. Even then, I was still trying to be calm. I just think to myself, she doesn't know my family, just let her be. Then she took it to the last straw. She took an ice ball, because it was the middle of winter, and she took a ball of ice and just threw it at my head. Now, this is when I got mad and I went off on her, because, one, she could have gave me a concussion or brain damage or killed me. Either way, she could have severely hurt me with that ice ball. Fruit, not so bad as hard, but it's not as hard as ice. And I just was so mad. So my friend Brittany grabbed my coat, and she's like, no, Brittany, don't do it, don't do it. I said no. I unbuttoned my coat faster than I had ever done in my life and threw it off because she was not going to hold me back because I was done. I ran up to her so fast it caught her off guard because I hadn't done anything the first other three times she did something and I just went after her and I grabbed her by her hair and I just was like do not one ever talk about my family and I said do not ever throw anything in my head again. I said you could have hurt me and then she started punching me so that's when I got mad and I started hitting her back and then pretty much I had her pinned down and I was hitting her in like her stomach and stuff because you really don't want to hit people in their face um I hit her in the face a few times which I'm not proud of and she even lost a tooth or so and I'm not proud of it I'm not but it was just a very awkward situation and so the next day, um, after we were done fighting, she, her and Kayla took off. Because Kayla didn't help her at all. Kayla stood there and just watched while we were fighting. And Kayla took off, and so did Jesse. And they took off running behind the houses instead of straight down the street, like in the actual road. But instead they cut through the grass trying to get home. And so me and Brittany were just walking, and she's just like, dang, I didn't think you were going to do that and stuff. And I'm like, she just made me so mad because I'm like, she really could have hurt me. And so I went home, told my mom what had happened, and they were just like, dang. About 15 minutes later, police showed up at my door. Her mom had called the police saying that I assaulted her and stuff like that. And I said, she started it. And it was pretty much something they, could, they, could, they couldn't do much because, I mean, she had started it. And they, I'm just like, what? am I supposed to do so they got in touch with the school and they told the school so the next day we, I went to school she didn't end up going and um I got called to the principal's office and I was talking to the assistant principal and he was just like well yeah we have to suspend you for 10 days because you started and I said excuse me I did not start it and they're like well this says otherwise and I'm just like oh my god and I'm just like, fine, I understand, because I said, I know fighting comes with consequences and stuff. I still don't understand, considering the fact that we were off the school bus, but they said since it was in the time frame of getting off the school bus that I had to be suspended. And so he's like, well, I'll give you 10 instead of 15. And I'm just like, it's still really bad. That's more than a week. And I mean, I was just like, whatever. And so pretty much what happened was I ended up getting 10 days. She got five. After my 10 days, 10 days was up. I went back to school. She still was not back in school, so I don't know. Never know. I just never know. And after that, she did not mess with me ever again. And I'm glad because I didn't want to have to fight again. It's just, it's not, it's not ever worth it. So, yes. That's the story of my fight. It's not super exciting. She just... Um, was annoying, and she just was so stupid. She just, oh, she made me mad. She made me mad. And, yeah. That's what happened. 
So, if you have any questions about the fight, feel free to comment down below. My cup is leaking. I'm so upset. Um... Um, yes, pretty much. I like how I moved over closer to the side. Um, yes, that's what happened. Um, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video and don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And thank you so much. Oh my God. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much. Bye.